Well, hello, I'm, uh, I'm David Taylor. Uh, as you may know, I worship the Holy Trinity in St Michael's. Um, retired some time now, but uh, still going strong. Today is the day that the church remembers uh, Maximilian Kolbe. Maximilian Kolbe was was born in Poland. He's he's one of the people who was um, arrested as an intellectual and taken to Auschwitz in uh, in May 1941. Um, and there had been an escape attempt, and ten prisoners were chosen to forfeit their lives. And Maximilian, who was a, a priest, stepped forward to take the place of one of them, uh, and and was executed. It's quite a sobering thought and it it really does bring into strong relief what can be expected of people who profess to be Christians. The reading this morning is from Acts of the Apostles, it's chapter, 20, chapter 2. Uh, verse 37 to the end. I'm just starting, in fact, with a bit of uh, verse uh, 36, and it's Peter at the end of one of his really, really great sermons said this, God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptised every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far away. Everyone whom the Lord calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptised. And that day about 3,000 people were added. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And all came upon everyone because of the wonders and signs that were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. And we thank God for his word to us in this scripture. Sunday just gone, uh, Sue and I were able to go to church, just sit in the congregation and take communion for the first time for a very long time. And it was good. We got used to the routine, as you do. We got used to the routine of not going to church. Um, and I think it will take some effort, to be honest, to get into the routine of going to church again. But it was such a joy to be able to do that and share time and space with people who believe what we believe who are trying as we try to follow the way of Christ and to do what the Lord asks and to get strength and confidence and comfort that we're all in this together. So if you can get to church, do. And if you can't, pray for us, pray for yourselves, and make sure that we know that you should be prayed for. We will. Just drop us an email and ask and we'll pray for you. Gracious Father, 
revive your church in our day. Make us strong and faithful for your glory's sake. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I look forward to seeing you again sometime, either online or in church. God bless.